Hi everyone, welcome back. Have you ever visited a website that looks great on your desktop but doesn't seem to work properly on mobile? Maybe the background image gets stretched out of proportion, becomes pixelated, or doesn't adjust well at all. So don't worry, in this video, we are going to show you how to fix that issue using Media Queries, an essential tool for responsive design. So here's the problem, or rather the lack of it. I have added a background image to this web page, but the way it scales across different devices is gonna be inconsistent. So on the desktop screen, as you're seeing right now, the image looks fine, but when I shrink the screen to mobile dimensions, the image is gonna get distorted or cropped. So let's see. See, the image is cropped really badly and is no longer production worthy. Here's the code I used for their demonstration. The key value here is background size auto, behavior of which is to retain the original or intrinsic image size and not apply any kind of scaling. This is great if you are working with large desktop screens like what you were seeing a second ago, but not all of your users are on desktop or using large external monitors. In fact, a larger proportion of viewers generally use smartphones these days. When we view the same image on smaller screens like a mobile phone, the image gets distorted, blurry, or cropped in a way that makes the design look off. I'm just demonstrating the problem for you before going into solutions, but remember this problem is not specific to background size auto. You would run into the same issue if I use background size cover, behavior of which is to make the image occupy the entire screen while maintaining aspect ratio. And it can clip the image based on aspect ratio mismatch. Let me show you. So if I make the real estate smaller, the image starts getting cropped from the side. So the point being a website made on and for desktop screens might not look half as good if viewed on small screens or mobile devices. This is a common shock many web developers receive many times, not from QA, but directly from users or data analysis indicating usage drop on small screen devices. So how do we fix this? The solution lies in media queries. But first, let's take a step back and understand exactly what media queries are. So in web design, media queries are a powerful feature of CSS that allows us to apply different styles based on characteristics of the device or screen displaying our website. In other words, we can define rules that change depending on things like screen size, resolution, or even the orientation of the device at the time of viewing. The key factor here being rules applicable at runtime rather than design time with regular CSS. There is a lot more to media queries, but for this video, we are gonna restrict ourselves to background image scaling. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let me give you the first impression of a media query. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna reduce the background size to 30% to make the image appear in the center of the screen. Okay, next I'm going to define a media query. So let me type first and then I'll explain everything. All right, the media rule in CSS is an at the rate rule used to apply styles based on specific conditions. Inside the parentheses, you define a media feature like max width, min height or orientation followed by a condition such as value like 600 pixels. For example, this entire line uses a media feature max width to apply the enclosed tiles only when the viewport width is 600 pixels or less. This allows you to create responsive designs that adopt different screen sizes and device characteristics. So in this example, we use a media query to apply a specific style when the viewport width is 600 pixels or less, which is typical for mobile devices. When this condition is met, the background color will change to cadet blue. This is just one simple use case using background color, but the real power of media queries comes into play when you apply them to adjust complex designs like background images. So now let's dive into how we can use media queries to control background image scaling on different screen sizes. So let me make some changes. So I'm going to change the background size back to cover. And as we saw earlier, Background size cover makes the background image cover the entire viewport on a larger screen. This works well because the image stretches proportionally to fill the container. But we encounter issues when the screen size changes and the image gets clipped. So to address the issue of inconsistent scaling, 
We use media queries to change the behavior of background image based on screen size. And to do that, I'm just going to make a very small change. I'm going to remove this line and change it with background size contain. So what does this amazing CSS does? On a desktop screen, the image will scale to cover the entire viewport, filling it completely. If the aspect ratio of image doesn't match with the viewport, some parts of the image may get clipped, but it won't distort, right? And on a mobile screen, which is defined in our case as 600 pixels or less, the background size contained rule kicks in, ensuring the entire image is visible, even if it means leaving some empty space around the edges. So let's see that in action. Okay, let me close this because this is distracting. Okay, so here we are in our large screen with a larger browser, and which is currently 735 pixels wide. So let's see what happens when I cross the 600 pixels threshold. Currently, cover is being applied, and it's going to clip the image if we go to a mobile screen. But look what happens just as we cross the 600 pixel threshold. See, our media query kicks in and changes the background size to contain. And now if I reduce the size even further, the image is going to remain contained. It's not going to get clipped or distorted because contain ensures aspect ratio as well as ensuring the image doesn't get clipped. All right, coming back to Visual Studio Code, media queries can be more specific and you can create different rules for various screen sizes to fine tune the behavior of your images. For example, let me type another media rule for tablets or uh, screens which are intermediate. So here goes. Right, so let's see that in action. And if I go here and change here, so if I, as I cross 768 pixel mark, look what happens. The image slightly jumps to fit 100%, 100%. Of course, you can have uh, background size contain here for tablets as well, but the real point of showing this is that you can have multiple media queries and you can have different rules for tablets followed by mobile devices. So you can have uh, you can have a completely different CSS being applied for tablets and another one for mobile devices, which are even smaller. Okay, finally, I would like to touch upon another sensitive topic, which is associated with this. And this is the sudden jump or transition that happens as we cross, let's say, this 600 pixel threshold or 768 pixel threshold that we saw earlier, which we uh, covered using 100%, 100% instead of contain. But uh, this is dependent on your image and aspect ratios and everything. So there is no single fix for what to do about these kind of situations. But let's say in our case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use background position to make the image appear stuck to the top instead of uh, appearing in the center. So I'm going to go here and for the mobile device one, which is 600 pixels or less, I'm going to also say background position top center, right? And now let's see what happens. So if I cross the 600 pixel threshold, the gap appears, but now the gap is at the bottom. And if the user is focused on the top part, he doesn't see a big transition taking place. Here, I would like to remind my viewers that we have a full-length playlist on HTML background images covering all these properties and values in depth. So you can take a look or to get more familiar with the options you have available. All right, finally, to recap, media queries allow us to apply different styles depending on the device or screen size. In this case, they are the key to ensuring our background image scales properly across all devices. By using media queries to switch between background size cover on large screens and background size contain on small screens, we can ensure a much better user experience. The image will adopt to different screen sizes, keeping its quality and appearance intact.
If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our future videos. Drop a comment if you have any questions or need further clarification about media queries. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.